Hey everybody, Sam Kavaris and the Nimnik Sports Update. So, a couple of things with the Jaguars are back at OTAs. Obviously, no more East Jones Drew. Uh, Ace Sanders is back. Jason Babin is going to have has had groin surgery and won't be around now for the preseason all the way until basically the preseason starts for the Jaguars in training camp. It's an injury that's been hanging around and uh, they just decided to do something about it right now. Babin probably a big, big, big contributor for uh, Gus Bradley and the defense that he has designed. Sanders has been hurt a little bit, but boy, he's, I think he's going to be an impact player. They're going to figure out a way to use Denard Robinson. Still impressive guy in practice, and the quarterbacks all look just fine. No more East Jones Drew. He's still down in South Florida, even though he dominated the discussion yesterday with Gus Bradley, and Bradley said, look, I'm going to try to use this as a, as a coaching, as a teachable moment to, to give guys an opportunity to understand what this means about. Uh, you know, Jones Drew uh, will probably meet with the St. Augustine Police Department next week when he's back for the mandatory minicamp. Uh, what's going to happen? I mean, unless they can positively identify it as Maurice Jones Drew, don't expect any real charges to be filed at this point, to, uh, no matter what the video shows or allegedly shows or you think it shows. A lot more than that has to go beyond a shadow of a doubt. Nonetheless, uh, the talk yesterday also was that Roger Goodell has said that the National Football League wants to expand that international series to three games and that he would ask the Jaguars to host two of them uh, and that another team would do that. I can tell you that the Jaguars and the NFL have had extensive discussions about this and no doubt that if they do expand it as early as 2014 that the Jaguars will be a team that hosts two games in London. The upside for the NFL, continued ex uh, international expansion, identifiable team in London uh, for the next three, four years. Uh, there are um, obviously international business opportunities for an international businessman like Shad Khan and for the National Football League as well. Uh, in Jacksonville, the one upside is, is that it will reduce the season ticket price down about 80% of the total, so about 20% off. The downside obviously is I think there's, these are going to be division games that are going to be played over there. And consequently, uh, two premier games that are on your schedule aren't going to be in the, in the Jaguars' home stadium. I mean, th this is something that obviously easily can be solved by sellouts and by winning. But right now, there is certainly as much money and much ex as much exposure to be had for the Jaguars to be playing games in London as it is to have them play games here. They still are Jacksonville's team. But... Season ticket sales, a winning football team. I mean, nobody goes to games in Tampa or Miami or Charlotte or 80% of the other teams in the National Football League when they're not winning. So it's not like Jacksonville is unique. It is unique in that we have an international owner who is using this to expand his international footprint and his international business. And so consequently, uh, this will probably be a fact of life for the Jaguars as being continually the international face of the National Football League. I'm Sam Kavaris. That's the Nimnik Chevrolet Sports Update.